They are truly members of the family that we would do anything for. We're talking about our pets. And tonight, a researcher from Yale shares with us exclusively how he is helping dogs here in Connecticut and all over the country live longer lives. News 8's Jeff Darian has our story. This is Sweet Savannah, a yellow lab, not possible to be loved more by her family. Cancer would take her though, but she continues to give what we mean in a moment. First, meet Dr. Mark Mamula. He's an immunologist with the Yale School of Medicine. His pioneering cancer vaccine work with his company, Theragen, is now giving people hope when there was none. I'll tell you some of the best sleep I get is in getting emails from our patient families saying, our dog is a year out or two years out or three years out from its cancer. The vaccine, as part of clinical trials, attacks, delays, and even cures certain forms of cancer in all kinds of dogs. This is Tybee getting his first shot. When they tell you and then you look up online and you realize there's not a lot of time with harmangiosarcoma, you're just thankful. You're like, wow, this is great. The vaccine is so groundbreaking, it may even be used in humans at some point to treat cancer. How the dogs get the vaccine is also unique. Come this way. There's a veterinarian that travels around Connecticut and New York giving dogs the vaccine in parking lots like this. Just today, someone came from New York and Philly to have their dog treated. Any new meds? Dogs getting treatment are given two doses of the drug three weeks apart and are monitored very closely. But if we can find these, these cancers, catch them early, treat with immunotherapy, and that, that's setting a very low disease, the hope is that, you know, we will then improve outcome. Eight-year-old Maven here made the trip from Philadelphia for her follow-up. Truman from New Hampshire already sadly lost a leg to cancer. And Sasha also just has three legs here from New York. Dr. Mamula is hoping for USDA approval of the vaccine by this fall or next spring. Savannah is the reason this Yale researcher is doing what he's doing. And every moment of the mission she inspired because of her cancer. And this was her last swim near Madison. The whole family there watching her do what she loved one last time. This would be goodbye. Still, somehow not the end because the love for one dog is now a lifeline for countless others. A final gift from Savannah. Jeff Dedarian, News 8. What a great story. So, <laughs> Savannah was my dog. Oh. And um, this is Mark's life work and he's been at it many years and um, his hope is that he can cure our babies, our animals, and then get this into human trials. And it may help many types of cancer. And so Savannah, his company's named after Savannah Jane, and also a mentor at Yale whose name was Charlie Janeway, um, who was brilliant and he also died of cancer. So it's our hope, Connecticut, we can save these dogs and save people. Well, Mark's done And it's all of work. his work, yeah. it's not mine. It's absolutely amazing. In yeah. fact, I think I told you a couple weeks ago, I ran into a random guy at a wedding who saved his dog with this vaccine, so everybody is just so grateful for his Mark's work. Mark's so and, humble, he, we, yeah. we just wanna do stuff for mankind, and, and hopefully this is it. Well, Upon USDA approval, it, we can get this into all the states in the country. We'll go Savannah. Yep, Thanks. it looks like it's going to get there too. I'm surprised I got so, but she was, she was awesome. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's our babies. Yeah. Our babies. So. Yeah. Well, it's going to be online in a couple of minutes, so share it with everybody.